back, everybody. You know, Vince takes a lot of time and care in building his power plants. It's the same type of time and care that you'd expect to go into any superior automotive component, as you'll see in our next story on shock absorbers. On the NASCAR circuit, it's high-speed cornering ability. On the street, it's wheel stability for maximum safety on all types of vehicles under any road conditions. For off-roading, it's reducing bottoming and maintaining control in the roughest terrain. Whatever terms you want to use, it all comes down to the same thing, handling bumps, and that means shocks. To find out about the latest shock technology, we went to San Diego, California, to get information firsthand from the experts at Bill Stein. Their director of marketing, Kevin O'Keefe, regularly conducts shock absorber clinics. One thing all modern day vehicles have in common is shock absorbers. They're used to dampen the spring oscillation of a vehicle or the up and down movement. Basically their function is to take movement energy or kinetic energy, convert it to thermal energy, which is heat, and dissipate it into the atmosphere. Conventional shock absorbers have been constructed basically out of two tubes or a twin tube system, and this is basically a layout this is the outer reservoir area. This is a, what we call our working cylinder or where the dampening and the actual function of the shock absorber occurs. Bill Stein pioneered what we call the single tube or monotube system, which basically is exactly that, a single tube system in which we have a cylinder, very large, and a very large piston for dampening control. Basically, this provides a much more smoother transition in dampening and control of the vehicle and greater ride comfort. One group of drivers who require the consistent shock dampening control offered by Bill Stein is professional off-road racers. Off-road racing places unusually severe demands on shocks. In fact, the record shows that Bill Stein has won more off-road races than any other shock absorber. Our motorsport support vehicle travels the country supplying on-site service for teams running on Bill Stein. This includes over 90% of the NASCAR Winston Cup team. Drivers like Darrell Waltrip, Dale Earnhardt, and Bill Elliott have all won NASCAR championships on Bill Stein. You know, with Bill Stein, the very same components used in our racing shocks are also found on our shock absorbers for the street. One thing all Bill Stein shock absorbers have in common, whether they're used for race or for street, is a high pressure gas principle. Bill Stein pioneered this gas principle over 35 years ago. I'm going to use this plastic demonstration shock to show you how shock absorbers function on your vehicle. Basically, as the tire and wheel movement oscillates on the vehicle, the piston inside the shock absorber cycles through hydraulic fluid. Now, all shock absorbers, whether they be gas or conventional hydraulic, work on a column of oil. When the piston moves through the column of oil, we have differentiations in pressure. Now, most conventional shock absorbers and gas pressure shock absorbers work on what we call a low pressure system. And I'm going to remove the pressure that we've installed in the shock absorber earlier to show you how a low pressure system works. Now, this shock absorber is under what we call a low pressure condition, which is at atmospheric pressure or slightly above. Now, when I cycle the piston through the shock absorber, you'll see that it cavitates immediately starts to lose its control, its viscosity, and basically all the functions that the shock absorber was designed for. In fact, as you can see here, it gives a whole new meaning to the word car sickness. What I'm going to do now is pressurize the same shock absorber using high pressure gas on the other side of this dividing piston, the Bilstein concept, in order to stabilize this oil column. As you can see, immediately, a lot of the cavitation is removed from the oil column. As the tire wheel movement continues to function, or the piston, it will continue to stabilize itself. This provides a very finite control. Up to two millimeters of wheel movement is completely dampened, and the viscosity of the oil is stabilized, so you get 98% peak efficiency from a Bilstein shock absorber for the lifetime of its use. While well, Bill Stein offers the industry's leading premium long life shock absorber, we also fine tune the valving for each application using a unique patented valving system. 
Our deflective disc valving system uses fewer parts and is internally self-adjusting. That's why Bill Stein is the original equipment choice for many General Motors products, such as the Corvette and GM's S-Series trucks. Bill Steins are also original equipment on Mercedes-Benz, as well as Fleetwood Motorhomes, among others. Of course, you don't have to purchase a new vehicle to acquire the Bill Stein shock absorber. It's available in the aftermarket on a wide variety of applications for automobiles, trucks, and recreational vehicles. And as I've shown you, the quality features of this shock absorber allow it to operate at peak efficiency for over 100,000 miles, and Bill Stein backs up with a lifetime warranty.